They are the true foundation of our community life. They are true found. They deserve our thanks for their untiring dedication and commitment. These are the people who work behind the scenes, getting our borough programs and celebrations accomplished while making it look so easy. Harvard has always had an amazing complement of volunteers, but there's always room for more. If there are any residents who would like to volunteer for a committee, please reach out to me or any council person, and we welcome the assistance of any committee. During the 2016, the mayor and council participated in four blue ribbon-cutting ceremonies for business ventures in Garwood, who also joined the Chamber of Commerce. There has been a major membership drive in Garwood by the Chamber, and we currently have 35 members. Businesses registered with the Chamber also are in surrounding communities. Approximately 500 members belong to that Chamber. The third annual Garwood Rocks sponsored by the Chamber and other local business it was a great success, bringing our residents together along with our neighboring towns for a day of fun, food, and friendship. Unfortunately, due to severe wind and rain in 2016, the event was cut short, but they are looking ahead for a brighter future in 2017. Our thank goes to Carol Carney, our representative from the Chamber of Commerce, for another great event. The next annual Garwood Rocks event will uh, once again explode in the center of town on s Sunday, June the 4th, from 10 to 5, for the rain date of September 10th. The new Liquid Church of Garwood, located on Center Street, has become a great neighbor to us in the past year. As you can see, as part of their summer outreach program, they have painted the inside of the borough hall and the council chambers which has not been done in 30 years and which was long overdue for a decade of facelift. They also have built, excuse me, they have also built and installed a horseshoe pit at the Garwood Sports and Recreation Complex, as well as adding a certified public playground mulch in the playground area of the complex. The borough is in receipt of the following grant money for this year 2016. The first was the Department of Transportation Mutual Aid Program for Roadways for $180,000 for various road projects. And from the state's Clean Community Program, we have received $10,217. Other grant monies received from the County of Union, the Infrastructure and Municipal Aid Grant for $65,000. That was done for the portion of Center Street. And a grant for the Garwood Public Library for $7,500 to be used for various new equipment and children's program. The borough has also received $5,000 Greener Union County Grant for the purchase of sage trees. As a bid farewell to our colleagues, Mike Martin, Jim Matthew, I sincerely wish you well on behalf of myself and the borough. In your future endeavors, which I am sure will continue to include many activities in Garwood. I also like to congratulate and welcome our new council members, Jen Blumenstock and Mark Lazaro, to the council. The past election in November 16, for the first time in <coughs> 113-year history, has brought three ladies to the Garwood Council at the same time. <laughs> continue to invite the council members on a monthly basis to join me on May or Saturday to meet with any resident who wish to stop by to express their concerns and comments or just to chat. We meet on the third Saturday of each month at 11 a.m. at Borough Hall. Uh, the first quarter schedule for 2017 will be as follows. January, uh, Jen Blumenstock, February, Mark Lazaro, and in March, Sarah Kudesko. 2017, recycling will continue as it has in the past year. The new pickup schedule has been mailed to all the residents. But just as a reminder, I'll tell you that recycling will be picked up on Wednesdays, alternating every week on the north and south side. Recycling will start on Wednesday, January 4th on the north side, followed by Wednesday, January 11th on the south side. Additional copies of the schedule can be obtained at Borough Hall and are found on the borough's website. Old pickup is scheduled for the weeks of 
May 22nd and October 16th. Please contact Borough Hall for further details as dates get closer. The borough will uh, hold another townwide sale, garage sale, on uh, Saturday and Sunday, May 20th and 21st. Uh, the borough will continue to extend the hours on the second and fourth Tuesdays of the month uh, for office business only. And we will still have the opportunity to pay our taxes online if you prefer. My mayor's address would be incomplete without an update on our current status of the South Avenue Transit Oriented Village Redevelopment Project, as we know as Casale and Petro. First, we must realize that because the mayor and council did not take a final vote on Ordinance 16-15, it must be reintroduced in 2017 with a first and second read. In 2016, the mayor and council took important steps to ensure that they make the right decisions on the behalf of the Garwood residents. The mayor and council recently interviewed candidates in a full open process, including all members of council, including the mayor, during the executive session to select a redevelopment attorney and a financial advisor. With these professionals on board, we will all be able to make a better and have a better discussion of full terms of the project, advantages and disadvantages in order to come to a final adoption of the redevelopment plan. The borough then will wait for a site plan to be submitted to the planning board for their consideration. <coughs> As I've said many times in the, before, citizens are urged to come to council meeting, the planning board, to follow the process and give their input. Public input and thoughts are still the utmost importance. I will continue to monitor and support our shared services for family to keep the best interests of forward at the forefront of any discussion. In conclusion, I want to confirm that my primary goal is still to protect the interest and quality of life of our residents and preserve the heritage and flavor of our town. I remind all council members it is their obligation to work together for the betterment of Garwood according to the bylaws of the council. Each council person is required to chair at least one major committee and to be a member of various other committees. And working with each other within a committee structure sharing ideas and goals, and open communication and professionalism. This is imperative for the future of our great borough. As I have in the past, I will continue to make the hard decisions to make progress in the borough, and will welcome input from all concerned citizens. I will continue to embrace positive change when necessary while working within the guidelines of the unavoidable state mandates. My phone number and email have not changed, and I welcome your comments and concerns. I also remain, remind residents that any of the council people can be contacted with regard to thorough issues, suggestions, and comments. You have heard? The list of committees, their chairs, and members. I will make sure that a printed list is available shortly, and I will make sure it's posted on our borough website. All your representatives, including me. If you have a concern about something going on in town, our council members need to know how you feel or if there is a potential problem. We are elected by you and we are here to work for you. I will continue to clearly demonstrate my commitment and dedication to Garwood as I have in the past. During the past year, I have visited homes of residents, discussed their concerns, and have spent countless hours on the phone and handling emails answering their questions. For passing them on to people who have been I plan to do so again this year. On behalf of my family and myself, I wish everyone a very happy and prosperous new year. And uh, on behalf of the new council members and their family, light refreshments are available to all in the conference room after the meeting. Thank you. The mayor and council will be held on Tuesday, January the 10th, 2017, in council chambers at 7:15 p.m. Workshop session to start at 7 p.m. You have a motion to adjourn. Make that motion, Mayor. Thank you. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you.